Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. Last time I mentioned command line arguments and how to create your own. I thought I'd go through that today. And this is going to work either in VisualWorks or Object Studio. You can do this in either one of the two products. The machinery underneath the hood is the same for either one. So what you do is go to command line interest, add an extension. And the way you would do that is in your package, go to the class menu, new class extension, and just make sure you extend command line interest. And what you do is on the class side, add a method called whatever you want. And you can either take no arguments, or if it takes arguments, it's going to take the read stream of all the tokens on the command line. You can just send next to it like any other stream to get the arguments. In this case, we're not worried about that. And you have to add a pragma here. Trigger at system event. The system event is returned from snapshot. The option is your argument that you're looking for, in this case, minus do connection. And then the sequence just, that's a priority number. The lower the number, the higher up in the chain that gets processed by the machinery. Not going to worry about that right now either because this is the only one we're going to do. And we're just going to have this do this connector do connection, which over here is just going to log us into the public repository. So let's see how that works. If I go over here on the command line and I'll bring this up, let's quit this image just so that you see that it's not the same one. Let's get rid of that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to run that command line. And you see everything's popping up. And here we get our little login prompt, so we'll connect. So it connects us to the repository and then finishes bringing Object Studio up. So that's all there is to it. You can do this either in VisualWorks or Object Studio. Again, all you have to do is add a little bit of code to command line interest and then have whatever you want kicked off. And that way your application can handle things on the command line, which is useful for scripting purposes or for starting up applications that have various startup needs. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.